So here we're looking at different types of returns, which are important for understanding how functions work. Um, and we have a, a little example here where we have a, a web app that is reporting the maximum temperature that we ever record on our temperature probe. It currently says 15. We're receiving an incoming temperature, 15 Celsius. We're receiving an incoming temperature, which is in Fahrenheit and is 60. We need to convert our temperature into centigrade by looking up on the internet how you convert from these crazy temperature scales and then decide if that temperature has gone up to update our app to the new temperature. So existing temperature 15 Celsius, incoming temperature 60 Fahrenheit. We do the incoming temperature minus 32, so 28, and we assign that to a temporary variable called temporary variable. This is a calculation that is returning the integer 28 that we are then storing as this temporary variable. In the next line, we take that temporary variable, which is valued at 28, multiply it by 5 to get 140, and then overwrite the temporary variable with that new value. So temporary variable now equals 140. On the next line, we do the same, but we do take that existing temporary variable of 140 divided by 9 to get 15 and a bit, and we overwrite temporary variable with that. We then use a function, a built-in function called max, which takes two val values and decides which of them is the biggest one. Now, for numbers, that's easy. It's just the largest number. So 15 Celsius and 15 and a bit Celsius in our temporary value variable means that we overwrite our original value of app temperature Celsius with a new value of 15.55555. So all of these are returns. This is a return from a calculation into this value variable. This is a return from this calculation into this variable. Then we return this calculation into this variable. And then we return the output of max into this variable. So that allows us to start to do stuff with the variables we've given the computer and store them back in new variables or in intermediate variables or overwrite existing variables, so on and so forth. Uh, we're also challenged with uh, can we do this in one line and so I've done that here for you so we are going to overwrite the app temperature Celsius with the return of the max between the existing app temperature Celsius between the century and this calculation which is incoming temperature Fahrenheit minus 32 times 5 over 9 so these three lines squashed into one and that will give exactly the same result um, what this is kind of indicating is that all of those returns that are happening here in these four lines are all still happening in this one line, but they are cascaded. So this return happens first and fills that bracket out, and then that return happens next and fills the top half of that division out, and that return happens next to replace this with a single number, and then that return happens next to pick which of the two numbers to use.